Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to the channel, you guys. It's the scene, Tara. And today we're going to do your reading to see what's going on with you and your person. This is for Scorpio. So Scorpio, I hope you can hear me very well today. All right, Scorpio, if it resonates, remember to like the video, give this video a big thumbs up here on the channel. If it does not resonate, I will have a link in the description. It will be your playlist, okay? Also, um, go over to your girl's Instagram, okay? Follow your girl on there as soon as she hit 5Ks. I'll definitely start those free personal live readings for you only on the gram. So if that's something you're interested in, um, the link will be in the bio. All right. Scorpio, I'm feeling your energy. I am so excited to do Scorpio as well because you know your girl is a Scorpio. So, <laughs> all right, guys, um, this card is flipped. I'm being drawn to a lot of different cards here. So, let me get these cards together. Okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second, Scorpio. All right. Scorpio, please. What's going on for Scorpio and their person? Scorpio and their person, please. What's going on for Scorpio and their person? Okay, let me go here quick. All right, Scorpio. Let's start with this deck. Scorpio and their person. What messages do you have for Scorpio and their person? In love. Scorpio in love. Ooh. All right. Let's see here. Ooh, we have some pentacles coming out here. So this has to do with money for some of you. But I'm getting like some of you are in a serious relationship or was in a serious relationship with this nine of pentacles in reverse, this king of pentacles. And then we have the high priestess, the death card. And then we have, you know, clarity that is not being given to you. Like somebody has been very unfair here to you, uh, Scorpio, and you want clarity, but this person is not giving it to you. You want to move forward, but this person is not giving it to you. Um, I feel like, you know what? I feel like since this person did whatever they did towards you, Scorpio, they have been going through a lot, okay? Talk about karmic energy here, all right? Um, I feel like you, for some of you, you were supporting this person, okay? Supporting them, giving them what they wanted in this relationship, whether it's financial or physical. Let me stand up here for a sec. I need a crystal, you guys. All right. Where is it? And this was just never enough for this person. And now this person is getting their karmic energy back in full. Okay, because they wasn't good. They wasn't being truthful to you and they wasn't being kind to you, okay? I feel like this person is losing everything right now. Um, things are just not going very well for them, you know? I also feel like, you know, your energy towards this person is very, like, standoffish. You don't want to be bothered. You're trying to avoid them as much as possible. I feel like you're making a decision to move forward from this because you have learned from this in the High Priestess. Okay, this is your energy here. Okay, you have learned from this. You don't want to be bothered with this. I mean, you do, you you know, you are, you're always open to work things out with this person because I do feel like for some of you probably married to this person or you have some kind of contract, some kind of tie to this person. I'm seeing the, um, the empress here in the back of the deck. You still look at this person as someone that you could build a whole life with. Or this person is looking at you this way. But let's keep going, you guys. Tell me more. Tell me more about Scorpio and their person. Wow. Yeah, you're cold as ice to this person. And I don't blame you. You know, this person wasn't truthful to you. They're not giving you the clarity. They're being un very unfair to you. But they want to be back with you in the Two of Cups here. I also see the judgment, like something is not set in stone here. 
So this separation that you guys are going through is not set in stone. This is just like a, a temporary thing. Um, you know, you're, someone is definitely not happy. Like you're putting this on hold, like this new beginning that needs to happen with you and this person. Maybe you guys try to have a family and it didn't work out or build a family. This um, Ace of Wands here in reverse. Um, this person have a lot of passion towards you, by the way. A lot of passion towards you. And it's just not working out, not working out. They don't know what to do because this person is thinking about you and you them. I feel like you guys are marrying each other, thinking about each other, want to be with each other, but something just not working here, Scorpio. I feel like this is probably a cycle with you and this person. Tell me more, please. Wow. Soulmate. Look at that. Six of Cups. Two of Cups. Soulmate cards. Your person is coming back to you. Okay? This might be a cycle, you guys. But it's a cycle because you're not done with this person. This person is not done with you. The judgment is in reverse. The decision has not been set in stone. Even though you're moving forward with your life and not even looking. Like, I feel like you're silent with this person. You're not giving them the attention that they want from you. <laughs> you're cold to them, Scorpio. You're cold to them right now. <sighs> mm, justice. From a view. Oh, no. Let me see. You're thinking about a divorce if you guys are married because the two of cups, nine of pentacles, marriage, and the justice here. If you guys are married, you're thinking about divorce, but this person doesn't want to end their marriage with you. They want to work things out. They, they're like, what? Divorce where? With me? No, you must be crazy. Okay, <laughs> they're going to be fair to you. They're going to want to work things out. But yet there is something missing in this relationship, which is clarity. <sighs> this person wants to invest in this. All right, wants to invest in this relationship, even though you look like you're totally disappointed about them. Well, there's three of pentacles here. Let me cl clarify the three of pentacles real quick. Okay, just want to see what this three of pentacles is all about, please. Because you're disappointed in this person, but why? This Three of Pentacles. Clarify the Three of Pentacles, please. Three of, clarify the Three of Pentacles. Okay. <laughs> the Death. This is why this person, someone is definitely stuck in this um, feeling of being like, like, oh my God, they disappointed me. This is why they can't move on towards this relationship, towards rebuilding this relationship. But we have soulmate connection coming through. Like I already talked about that with this two of cups, six of cups here. Past, this person is thinking about you, can't stop thinking about you over and over. Um, they're ready to come in. They're appearing to be this knight of um, I'm sorry, not this night, the king of wands in the upright. You're cold to them and they're trying to work it out as much as they want because there's a lot of passion towards you and this person. I think you guys bump head because you're similar. <laughs> we have the wheel of fortune in reverse. We have the queen of pentacles and we have the three of cups in reverse. So this person cheated on you. This person had a third party. That's why it couldn't work out. I was trying to um, find out what this was all about. What was the disappointment in the Three of Pentacles? It could be three people here. So it tells me that this person cheated on you. Okay. And it's someone that you know of. So someone is smiling in your face, acting like you guys are cool and they're sleeping with your boo. Okay. But this is a cycle. This person, if it's not this person, it's somebody else, you know, that does this to you. So there's a lesson here that needs to be learned, but you're over this cycle. I feel like you're ready to find the right one and settle down with, okay? That's what I'm thinking right here, Scorpio. <laughs> it's funny. Let's see what's on the back here. Even though 
even though this person is stuck, they're going to have a leap of faith. They're going to jump right off to come towards you to see if, you know, you guys can work things out. The nine of cups, they, they really look at you as the one for them, you know, like the one that they want to be with, the one that they want to work things out with, you know, the one that they want to share their lives with. This is how they see you. They have so much plans for you and them. All right, Scorpio, this is your regular reading. This is what I see so far. I hope it resonates. If it does, you know what to do. Like this video, give this video a big thumbs up, and I'll meet you guys in your bonus right after this. Love you, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, guys.